In 1777, British General John Burgoyne led an invasion from Canada, hoping to take control of the Hudson River and Lake Champlain Corridor. By August, Burgoyne had advanced to the Hudson River. He decided to continue south by crossing from the east to the west bank of the Hudson. His plan was to march onto Albany. On the west side, Burgoyne's army would have access to a better road. This path would also lead to decisive battles with the rebel army. The British had an enormous amount of equipment to carry, so Burgoyne resolved to build a bridge of boats across the Hudson. Burgoyne's troops lashed bateaux, oversized rowboats, side by side across the river and covered them with planks. They were anchored to both shores and provided a quick, if somewhat unsteady, bridge. Heavy rains caused the bridge to break apart, briefly dividing Burgoyne's army on both sides of the river. Repairs were made and Burgoyne's men began their advance toward destiny, abandoning headquarters at the Dewar House in Fort Miller on September 10. Looking north, there are visible cuts in the riverbank that may indicate where the troops access the bridge of boats. These signs were created in partnership with Lakes to Locks Passage, and audio versions were made possible through support from the Greenwich Lions Club. If you enjoyed learning about this topic, support Hudson Crossing Park with a tax-deductible donation at hudsoncrossingpark.org. Thank you for your support.